What's up guys, my name is Cobbs and welcome back to my GT7 playthrough. Um, we have a roulette ticket actually, so let's open that before we start anything else and then we will go back to the cafe. We have a four star roulette ticket as well, so it's a pretty good one I guess. And uh, hopefully we can get the Lamborghini. Oh my god, there's a Lamborghini. Wait, what? No. Engine? Oh, that is a lot of credits I think. Maybe like 20k? 30k, okay, that is good, we'll take it. Uh, but I really wanted the Lamborghini, of course. <laughs> but, I mean, it is what it is. I think the cafe is like the main part of this game. So, yeah, we gotta show our custom wing. Before you take on the Asia Oceana Championship, I'd like you to tune your car. Go to car customization in GT Auto and select custom, custom parts, then wing to fit a custom wing set to your car. It doesn't matter which car you use, but custom wing sets aren't available for all models. If you go to the shop and a custom wing set isn't available, try using a different car. If you're not sure which to use, I'd suggest the Nissan R32 GTR you collected previously. A custom wing set will definitely give your car a souped up appearance. Come back here once the custom wing set's been fitted, I'll be waiting. Since we already have the custom wing set on my GTR, as you guys can see, I chose the medium one because the high one, it would be, I think the medium one looks cooler. I don't know, just, just what I prefer. So maybe we will um, customize the R32 later and we will fully tune it. Well done, another menu challenge successfully completed. Your car looks completely different with that custom wing, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks so much cooler, honestly. And what's more, it will allow you to adjust downforce, really. So you can adjust rear downforce by going to aerodynamics in car settings. Try increasing downforce for technical courses and decreasing it for high speed circuits. Okay, there's all sorts of other parts available in GT Auto as well so you can customize to your heart's content now then next up is the asia oceana championship it's time to put your tuned up baby to the test i'm definitely going to use my gtr r34 for this uh because it's it's tuned up mechanically to 700 horsepower so it should be a beast for this um but let's open this roulette ticket maybe we can get a car oh there is a car oh it's a gtr r35 please please Yes! Oh my god! Damn! Okay, yes, I love GTRs, so that's why <laughs> I am quite excited for this. And it looks like a race car as well. Damn. We'll take it. I mean, I, I have a GTR, but I don't have this one, the R35. Uh, it's a beautiful car, honestly. But I prefer the R34, not gonna lie. It's my favorite GTR, my favorite car probably of all time. We will continue with this championship, the Asia Oceana Championship, Red Bull Ring, Dragon Tail, and the Nürburgring. Oh, oh, if we do this, then we unlock those tracks, I think. Okay. For this menu, I'd like you to go to World Circuits and enter the Asia Oceana Championship. You'll be racing on tracks in Japan and on Australia's world famous Mount Panorama Circuit. Your goal is to finish in the top three. Good luck out there. We're behind you all the way. Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. Let's look at this. Beautiful cutscene. We have some GTRs over here, I think. Or is that a Supra? Oh, no. This is the GTR. I like that. That looks like the Need for Speed Payback one, actually. Um, there's a Supra. The old Supra. Uh, I don't know what the other car was, actually. Oh, nice. We got the Mitsubishi. We got what's that Porsche? The R32. We got the Evo. Oh, this is nice. I like this. Oh, we got, is that RX-7? It's all Japanese cars, right? So cool. I love Japanese cars. They're so cool. The JDM cars, they are amazing. It has to be from Japan or Korea. So yeah, our, of course we're gonna use our GTR, right? I mean, why not? All right, let's do it. And I think when we finish this championship, we unlock the Nürburgring. I think it is all Japanese cars that we're racing against. All right, just three laps, pretty easy. Got the R33, I think. That's R33, isn't it? I think so. All right, so our car should destroy. We have 700 horsepower. What is that? The Honda NSX, I think, yeah. Type R as well. Oh no, sorry. I, uh, <laughs> I hit into the new Supra. That is an old Impreza, isn't it? 
That's pretty cool. All right, now we're just pretty much racing by ourselves now. So my GTR actually reaches at like 340 kilometers per hour. It's pretty, pretty fast. Not gonna lie. And uh, we kind of have a racing tune right now. And it's pretty good for racing. It has some good grip. You no, know, all around it's it's a solid car for racing as well. So someone please let me know in the comments. Do you guys really prefer like one hour uh, playthrough episode or do you prefer like a 10 to 15 minute uh, playthrough episode and it's like cut up and it's more like entertaining I guess and it's like uh, like the boring parts I just cut them out from the races and yeah let me know please in the comments. Okay let's go to the next race. The next race is I'm not sure which track it oh it's Fuji Speedway okay. What is that car? A Hyundai Genesis. Amuse? Amuse Nismo? I really don't know what car... I've never heard of an Amuse car. What is that? Oh no, oh no! Sorry! Ah! That is one of my biggest crashes, I think, so far. That is really bad. I literally destroyed that new Supra. Sent it to the shops. Oh, this RX-7 is nice. I like me some RX-7. I think I like the RX-7 more than the RX-8. No. Oh, shit. Can we go like this? Uh-huh. Yes. In an online race, I think that would be illegal. But who cares? This is offline. And we're just playing the cafe. So... <laughs> We do what we want here on this YouTube channel. All right, we did it. Next race, the final race is in Australia, where I live. I live in Australia, and I think this track, Mount Panorama Motor Racing Track, is in Sydney, in Bathurst, actually. So I think Bathurst is in Sydney, I'm not sure. But that would be cool if I could actually go there in real life and, uh, you know, test it out. I've never been on a racetrack in a, like, in real life in a real car but it would be interesting to to go for the experience it's quite a nice track i really don't mind this track is that the new super or the old one oh it's the old one from 1997 i was born in 1998 so that car came out before i was even born i love the nsx as well it's pretty cool i mean it's all right i love the downhill on this race or this track it's pretty cool it feels like i'm driving in the mountains you know well it is the mountain actually isn't it mount panorama What's it called? Panorama? I think so. It's quite cool. It is nice in the dark. Can't really see that much. <laughs> it's quite dark. I think they need more lights. Over here there's lights because it's the final... It's the it's where the lap... It's where the race starts. We finished the championship. We came first in every single race because our GTR R34 is king. And we got a four-star roulette ticket as well. Okay. $50,000. Wow. Okay. Damn. So we're pretty rich now. <gasps> the M3. Oh. I want the M3. First one? No! Well, it's still the M3, but it's the old M3. I want the 2003 one. Well done for winning the Asia Ch Oceania Championship. I've got your reward all ready for you. Go ahead and take it. So we unlocked the Red Bull Ring in Austria. We got the Dragon Tail in Croatia. And we got the Nürburgring, the, the ultimate track in Germany. The crazy track. Okay, wow. So we're going to collect BMW M3s now? Okay. Let's do it. Okay, so we got the 2003 one and then the 2007 one. Okay, wow. Let's do it. For this menu, I'd like you to collect cars made by Bavarian manufacturer BMW. Wait, Bavarian is in... What? BMW is German, isn't it? But Bavarian is a city in Germany or something? I don't know. Or is that... I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Specifically, you'll be collecting the M series of high performance sports cars. Come back to the cafe once you've collected all three cars, and I'll give you your reward. Okay, you know what? Let's maybe we should buy the M3. Okay, whatever. You know, we'll just get the brand new one. 2003. The M3 E46 2003. This thing is a beauty. Wait, you can't get turbo? Wait, why can't I put a turbo on it? We'll get racing soft tires. 25k for the wide body. Let's do it. All right, so apparently, all you have to do is add it to the collection. So you do this, add to collection. All right, let's load the style. And we will have the need for speed, most wanted. Okay, here we go. We're putting it on. So we don't need to actually spend time creating the style. Oh my God, yes, we have 
Yes, this is my childhood. 23,000 apparently, for some reason. We have to pay for all of this. We can afford it, so let's do it. Hell yeah, wow. Okay, this is amazing. I love this. And we have the wide body now as well. Oh my god, yes. Okay, so we might need to do that because we did buy the, what's it called? We did buy the M3, so that's why it's, it's telling us that we don't even need to do this race, but let's do it because originally it wanted us to do this so let's do it with the with this beautiful m3 need for speed most wanted looking amazing right now don't even need to spend time creating the livery and stuff it's just all easily applied it looks amazing the wing is massive i think i should have put uh, Racing brakes or something because maybe the brakes are not that good. If I ever buy this car in real life, maybe I will do this and make it look like the Need for Speed Most Wanted car. That would be so cool. But I'm pretty sure this car is very expensive in real life as well because it's quite of a it's quite a classic. So I don't think I would be able to afford it. Uh, maybe one day. Oh, uh, you guys can't see it, but because my face cam is covering the map. But first is quite far right now let's just drive in this view because of the the <laughs> delivery that we have i just want to look at this car if you guys know why i can't add a turbo or supercharger let me know in the comments okay okay we're catching up we're quite close now this is good come on we just gotta overtake yes need for speed power we've done it wow i didn't think we would catch up but we did it somehow Okay, let's get these. These are for maximum power, stopping power. So we'll get these. We'll get the brake pads as well. Uh, we'll get this. Why not? Uh, sure. All right, we'll get a weight reduction. And we'll get maybe another weight reduction. And we can get another weight reduction. Stage four is not applicable. All right, I think we're good now with the need for speed. Most wanted livery as well. And we are on the infamous track. Oh, oh wait, no. It's not the actual... <laughs> It's not the Nordschleife, it's the other one. Nürburgring GP. Okay, well, whatever. We'll just... Okay, see, we have two of these now. Okay. It's a bit faster now. And we have our racing brake kit, so our brakes should be a lot better. I wish I could put the turbo, though. I, I really don't know why. It has the Need for Speed Most Wanted number play as well. That's pretty cool. City of Rockport. A piece of art, I would say. Super iconic. I love this car. This car is amazing. Probably the most iconic car in Need for Speed ever. In the history of Need for Speed. This car has to be the most iconic. It handles very well, actually. Okay, is this the final... The final lap? I think we're done here. Yep. Okay. There it is. There she is. We get the BMW M3 Coupe. 2007. Alright, so apparently there was one more track, one more event that is the same one as the other ones, the European FR Challenge 550. But because we bought one of the BMWs, it, we didn't need to do this anymore. So let's just do this race as well because, you know, there's three uh, European FR Challenge 550s. There's one on the Nürburgring and then this one and then we're going to do this one. So let's do this one as well. We might as well just finish this one real quick. Uh, we'll do it in our BMW, of course, in our Need for Speed Most Wanted BMW, but yeah, let's do it. So that means if we didn't buy any of the BMWs, we would have needed to do three races because there were three cars that we get from each, like one car from each race from three different races. So yeah, so this track was actually a new track that we unlocked, so that's why I guess they made it into this event as well, like in, into the next menu book. There we go. Congrats, you got all three cars. This completes your BMW M3 collection. Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about these cars. BMW is a manufacturer that has seen great success in touring car races with cars based on retail models. At first, BMW's in-house sports division was in charge of the company's motorsport activities. But then in 1972, it set up a subsidiary company called BMW Motorsport. The new company's technical specialists developed engines for formula machines as well as touring cars. In 1993, its name was changed to BMW M, a name that is still in use. The BMW M series cars you see here are all retail models developed by BMW M. 
even among the rest of BMW's retail lineup, these stand out as being especially powerful and popular models. The first generation BMW M3, which made its debut in 1985, was the first base was the base model for the company's touring car. Designed from the ground up as though it were a racing car, it remains a legend among M3s to this day. Alright, so I think I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and make sure to hit the notification bell down below to stay notified when I upload. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.